Graphical facilities are versatile component of the R environment. So it is possible to display a variety of statistical graph and also to build new types of graph using graphical facilities. Graphical facilities can be used both interactive or batch modes. Interactive use means it uses a special graphics window for the displaying interactive graphics. So this can be done using commands. In Unix, it is using X11 in Windows. Windows function is there. Mac OS uses codes. A new device can be opened by using dev.new. Once the driver is running, R plotting commands can be used to produce a variety of graphical displays. Plotting commands can be divided into three high level plotting function, low level plotting function, and interactive plotting graphics. High level plotting function creates possibly a new graph with axis, labels, titles, and so on. Low level, low level plotting functions such as extra points, lines, and labels. And interactive graphics allows us to interactively add additional information such as extra points or extract information from an existing plot or maintain a list of graphical parameters which can be manipulated. So here we are using what is known as base graphics. A separate graphic subsystem in package grid coexists with base. Package lattice will, which builds on grid provides multi-panel plots. High-level plotting commands are designed to generate a complete plot of data with appropriate axis, label and titles. It starts a new plot erasing the current plot if necessary. Okay, one of the most frequently used plotting function is plot function. It is dependent upon the type or class of the first argument. So syntax is plot x, y. Plot x, y means if x and y are vectors, it will produce a scatter plot. If you are supplying a single argument, then it will be either a list containing two elements, x and y, or a two column matrix. If, if you are supplying a single argument and it is a time series element, then it is a time series element. It produces a time series plot. If x is a numeric vector, it produces a plot of the values in the vector against their index. If x is a complex vector, it produces a plot of imaginary versus real part of the vector element. Plot, plot of f and plot of fy. f is the factor vector, factor object and y is the numeric vector. This form plot f will plot a bar plot and the second form this form plot f y will plot a box plot. Then another version of plot is plot of df where df is the data frame and y is this this y represent any object and the expression is a list of objects separated by plus for example a plus b plus c the first two forms produces distributional plots of the variables in the data frame or the number of named forms third form this form plots y against every object named in expression then displaying multivariate variate data r provides two useful functions 
for representing multivariate data. If X is numeric or data frame, depending upon the data type. If it is numeric or data frame, then you can use a command known as pairs. It produces pairwise scatter plot matrix defined by the column of X. Another command is coplot. When three or four variables are involved, a coplot can be used. If A and B are two numeric vectors, and C is a either a numeric vector or factor object, we can issue this command. This one, this command, coplot, produces a number of scatter plot of A against B for a given C. This means that A against B given, this simple denotes given some values of C. If C is a factor, this means that A is plotted against B for every value of C. C is a factor, then it is plotted for every value of C. And C is numeric means it is divided into a number of conditional intervals. And for each value of C within the interval is plotted. The number and position of interval can be controlled control with given values equal to argument to the coplot. The function cointervals is useful for selecting intervals. Use two given variables. A, we can plot scatter plot using coplot. Here we are using plotting A against B for a given joint conditional interval of C and D. Previously we had plotted for a given value of C. Now we are using conditional interval C plus D. Coplot and pair function both take a argument panel equal to which can be used to customize the plot. The default is points to produce a scatter plot, but supplying some other lower low level graphics of two vectors, they are using panel equal to. So example for a panel function is panel dot smooth. So in coplot co and pair function, we are using an argument panel equal to to customize the plot. And default version is points. It will produce, it can include low graphics functions with parameter panel equal to. An example for a panel function is panel dot smooth. Okay, display graphics. Three functions, q norm of x, q q line of x, q q plot of x, y. These will plot a distribution comparison plot. First form of the plot plots the numeric vector x against the expected. And second adds a, this one adds a straight line. And third one plots a contents of x against y. Then about histogram. The first function, this function produces histogram of the numeric variable x. And a sensible number of classes can be chosen. This classes argument can be chosen with argument n class. And also breakpoints can be specified with the argument breakpoint. If the probability is true, argument is given the bar represent relative frequency divided by bin width instead of count. Then dot chart of x. It constructs a dot chart of the data in x. Image of x, y, z. Contour of x, y, z. Persp of x, y, z. These plots three variables. The image 
plot throws a grid of rectangle using different colors to represent the value then contour contour plot draws contour lines to represent the value of z finally this plot draws a 3d surface arguments to high level plotting functions so add equal to true means forcing the function to act as a low level graphics function axis equal to false means it suppresses generation of axis log equal to x log equal to y log equal to xy that causes the xy or both axis to be logarithmic then type argument type equal to b means plot individual points type equal to 1 plot lines type equal to b plot points connected by lines type equal to 0 point plots overlaid by lines type equal to x point word plot vertical lines type equal to s means step function plot type equal to n means no plotting at all then x label equal to string y label equal to string these are the axis label for x and y axis main equal to string means it Uh, specifies the title of the figure which is placed at the top of the plot sub equal to string means it is a subtitle which is placed below the x axis in smaller font some instructions length equal to 0.25 means length of any arrow head angle equal to 30 means angle of the head to the main arrow in degrees code equal to 2 means it is the arrow head which arrow head is to be drawn zero means neither one means beginning point two the ending point and three four ends ltwy means it is the line type type lwd is the line width line color is specified using color equal col equal to color matrix plots means multiple series can be plotted on a single graph this one several series of data will be there if the data are categorical then you can use bar plot dot chart is also possible if your data are continuous variable then you can plot scatter however the map plot command is also a useful one for continuous so for categorical data we can plot bar chart and dot chart for continuous variable you can plot scatter and map plot you can also produce a similar graph using plot command using map plot command which plots the columns of one matrix against the columns of other So syntax of matplotlib command matplotlib followed by you need to specify two arguments this x x and this is the matrix containing the columns to be used as x axis x data and this one is this one is for x data and this one is y data and type equal to p the two matrix object do not have to contain same number of columns so number of elements in x and y may vary ltwy is the by default only points are plotted if you are using type equal to b the style of lines differs Okay, ELTY by denotes the line type. Then you can use plotting characters. Usually, plotting characters are by default it is from one to nine, then zero, then lower case, then upper case. Setting the symbol, you need PCH command. PCH argument. Colors are set using COL. argument 
Usually, one through six colors are possible: black, red, green, blue, cyan, and violet. Following example shows two matrices, first containing two columns, and these relate to two response variable, and the second matrix is a single column, and it is a predictor variable. So this is a database. I V E R T. It is a default database. It contains two columns, S fly and E M fly. This is another database, S P D. So it contains speed. It is a column matrix, column vector. So to create a basic plot, you need two variables. First one is X data. This one is X data, and this one is Y data. So minimum these two arguments are required for plotting. A single x variable and two column in your and the two column in your y data are plotted. Using all the defaults, he, here other arguments are missing, so it will set all the defaults value. With plotting characters being black one and red and So this one is an example for more customized plot. Here we are using this one is the x data, x data, and this is the y data, and this one is the line type, and this one is the PCH character. This one is the color. And the x axis label, x axis label is labeled by x lab, and y axis label is labeled using y lab. Then legend, legend means you might have seen a instruction at the top of the graph using some symbols. For example, suppose you are plotting a graph. Suppose you are plotting a graph. Bar chart plotting. With uh, some fruits, two bar charts are there, or some uh, colors, blue and green balls are plotted. Blue, green. So this one is for blue, and this one is for green. Actually, there will be one instruction here denoting which one is blue. So some will make it clear. So suppose some other example, some plot is given. This one specifies blue ball, and some other plot will be there. This one, sorry, it, it won't be visible. We'll use some other color. Sorry. So a graph is plotted. First one represents a blue ball, and uh, some other plot. This one is some other uh, some green. There will be one graphical representation here. Means this one represents green, and this one represents blue. This representation is known as legend. Okay, actually here they are mentioning that legend is at the top right. Legend is top right. This one, legend is top right. This portion. Legend is top right. Legend is top right. Then, what are the strings of that legend? We are having two flies, stone fly and may fly. Similar to the previous example, we are having two flies here, stone fly and may fly. Then you can specify the color and character for that legend. 
using this command. Okay, using legend command, you can copy some of the inst instructions because you need to match the line type, color, and plotting characters. Okay, we had discussed it earlier. So this is an example for legend. So here, this this character represents. It's not clear to you. This character represents stonefly. Means this character. This graph is for stonefly. This is legend. This this portion is known as legend. Okay, this is X label, speed is X label, and this Y label means this one. And here title will be displayed. Okay, here dot characters are used for plotting. Okay. So here plotting functions are same. So for uh, using legend, you can copy the code also. In addition to the matplot command, you can add points and lines to an existing graph using map points and map lines for adding lines and points to the existing graph. Some options for matrix plot, you can just read it. Multiple plots in one window. In sometimes, sometimes several graphs might need to be plotted in a single window. You, you could make separate plots and then later position them together. Or more efficient way to plot such graph is to split the a graphical window into sessions and throw your graphics. Splitting the plot into equal section means split the graphical window into different parts using MF row and MF call. You can access these instructions via the command PAR command. Store the current PAR instructions so that they can be recalled or reset later. So the arguments of M row, MF row and M column are number of rows and number of columns. So this one is this index of MF row and MF column. Here this one represents the number of rows. And the next one represents the number of columns. One set, the split plot window remain in force until altered or reset to the original value. So here we are using 2 by 2. M of row 2 by 2 means we need 2 rows and 2 columns. That means the whole screen is divided into 4, 2 by 2, that is 4. Whole screen is divided, split into 4 halves. So we are plotting 3 data. Length of BD, we are plotting 3 data. Length BD, length algae, length speed, length no 3 okay check this output here we are dividing the screen into 4 1 2 3 4 so first plot BOD against length second plot algae against length third plot speed against length and fourth plot no 3 against length is plotted you can skip a plot by using plot new command. So after issuing a plot new command, the current plot will be cleared. So here we are using a plot new command. In that case, 
the window will be cleared. So you can verify it after plotting this one. Uh, you had issued a new command, so this window is cleared. Similarly, you had issued another command also to clear, so this one is also cleared. So only two plots are plotted. Okay, in, in the previous case, we are considering the window is split into equal session. Now we are going to consider the plot window is divided into unequal session using split screen command. Okay, here the basic form of syntax is like this. Split screen fix equal to C of rows columns. It is similar to MF row instruction. You can divide each of the section just as you created before. So split the screen figures C23 means you are having one row and two columns. And if you divide the whole row, divide the graphics window into two rows and one column. And this command shows that we have having two areas available. The screen command Check to see which is the current window. If you are setting 1, then means the window at the top is the current window. You can sit to the bottom row using by issuing screen of 2. So you can close the screen using close screen. So in the second screen, you are plotting one uh, length versus algae. And in the first screen, you are plotting length versus B. Like this. So you can erase a screen by issuing this command. Erase screen, screen command. The default for this command is to use currently selected screen. By default, the background color is used to erase the drawing. Now suppose you want to draw into the cleared area at the bottom of the plot. That means we are we are cleared the screen 3 and screen 4. So now we can plot it using screen of 3 and screen of 4. Previously we had only plotted two screens and the other screens are plotted here. So in the next graph the graph is the screen is split into four. First plot, third plot and fourth plot. So you can issue a close screen to Remove these splits. So close screen N3 is to 4 means it retains screen 1 and 2. It just close 3 and 4. This means it retains screen 1 and 2. If you want to close all the screens, you have to issue this command or this command. Here after issuing the first command, this one is the first command, you had used close screen. In this case, at this step itself, the screen is closed. At this step itself, screen is closed. So if you issue another close screen command, it will issue a false only. So these are the summary of the screen splitting command and options. Then exporting graphs. Once you made a graph, you can save it in computer screen using in some other location or some other report or presentation like that. So using copy and command, copy and paste, you can move graph using clipboard. Then you can resize the 
graphic window using mouse and then save it. Then after resizing you can save it. If you want more control over the size of the graphics window, you can create a blank window with this dimension. This one is in the Windows. This one is in the Mac OS. For Linux users, you have to issue X11 Macintosh codes and for Windows users, you can use Windows. As in the previous command, you can set the height and width, background and default size. Saving a graph to a file. How to save a graph? So in Windows, you can see menu bar. So you can use file and save command using menu bar. You can use various version, PNG, JPEG, BMP, GIF, PDF, etc. In Macintosh, there is no menu, no menu. So once a graph is selected, file menu enables you to save your graph as a file. Default version is PDF. There is no PNG or other versions. In Linux, there is no GUI. So R runs via terminal application. Using device driver to save a graph to disk. The device driver allows more subtle control of your graphic and quality of the finished article. If you are a Linux user, then use device driver in just a copy paste operation. It is a way of device driver is a way to send your graphics to an appropriate location and it may be a screen or PNG or PDF. Using device driver can be done in two ways. Send an existing screen graphic to a file. Then another way is create a graphic file directly on disk. A device driver can accept a variety of instructions including the size of graphics and color of background and resolution. PNG graphic, graphic device driver. You can access a PNG device via the command PNG, which has the following syntax. So you have to mention the file name followed by width, followed by height, and the resolution and background. Resolution is not recorded in the file unless you are specified. Usually you can assume that 72 dpi is used. It is the standard way. Another device driver is PDF device driver. It is accessed via PDF command. It is also having the similar options. So first of all you have to specify the file then with height, background, then color model. Color model enables you to specify general color of the plot. The default value is RGB. Gray will produce a grayscale plot. Then copy a graph from screen to a disk file. You can use two commands dev.copy of device and dvev dot print of device. So dv dev dot of means you had finished with graphic. You must close the device, making a new graph directly to a disk device disk file. Device driver enables you to create a graphic as a disk file by bypassing the screen. You need to create a large graphic that might not be fit into a screen. So you have to control the resolution and starting point is device itself. 
steps you require is first of all you need to create a device using the appropriate driver and after that issue the graphics commands needed then you have to issue additional graphics commands such as title a b line etc then finish the plot by closing the graphics device using dev dot save a graph to disk and explore the effects of resolution as seen previously you have windows codes x11 commands for making a graphics window then create a graph once you create a have graph you can match the size and resolution using width dot star dpi and height star dpi okay create a new graphics window depending upon operating system it will vary if you are using window linux you can use this command x11 so retro the graph in new window now create a png file using the device driver actually the syntax of png file is discussed earlier file name height width resolution and background so after that you have to finish by closing the device driver for each and every png file you have to close the device driver for each and every png we will be using a single device driver so we are next we are creating another png file and set another resolution here resolution is 300 here resolution is 150 and that device driver is closed and again create another png file and the resolution of that one is 600 and send sorry close that device driver then go to the working directory and look at the difference of the graphics so one file is with 150 and the next one is with 600 and so on. so there will be difference in the quality of the graphics so how it works the basic graphics command make the plot the appearance of the graph will be slightly different depending upon the size of the window so you can visualize the final output and create a new window using set size so device driver requires size and resolution information once the device is ready you can send the graphics command to actually draw the plot and close using dev dot of command so these are the plots we had plotted you can visual, we can visualize the variations the size of the plots are varied so some important error bar legends some important function segments means it is the error bar can be added using segments and arrows legend means it can be used to add a legend to an existing plot palette can be used to create a palette of colors expression text etc can produce text that is subscripted or superscripted so em text text can be placed in the margins of the plot similarly you can read the other options also other commands also then graphical procedure locator locator en comma type this is the syntax of locator it waits for the user to select the locations on the current plot using left mouse button this continues until n points have been selected this is the point n denotes the points and the type argument allows for plot at the selected points and has the same effect as the high level graphics 
locator returns the locations of the points selected. So how many locations will be printed? This n locations will be printed. Or labels. So locator, this locator command means there will be no arguments. It is particularly useful when, when you are using interactive selections. Text locator outlayer ADJ equal to 0. This means you have to place some informative text near a outlying point. Locator means one point, right? Locator will be ignored if the current device such as PostScript does not support interactive pointing. So another graphical procedure is identify x comma y comma identify x comma y comma label. It allows the user to highlight any point of the defined by x and y and it returns the indices of the selected points when another button is pressed. So it identifies some particular point and sometimes you may be wish to select some observation of interest from the graph graphical display. Given some points x and y and you have two numeric vectors x and y, you could use identify function like this plot x y then followed by identify x y. So identify function allows the user to move the mouse pointer and click the left mouse button near a point. It returns the indices of the selected point. You can also use plot equal to false using graphics parameters. So permanent changes are done using par function and temporary changes can be done using arguments to the graphics function. So R R's default do not always produce exactly that which is required. R maintain a large number of graphics parameters such as line style, color, figure arrangement and test justification. Every graphics parameter has a name and a value. A separate list of graphics parameter is maintained for each active device. It can be set either permanently or temporarily. Permanent changes can be done using par function. PAR function is used to access and modify the list of graphics. PAR without arguments list returns a list of all graphics parameters and its value. PAR C, this means a vector, column, then it is what is LTY, it is the line type. With the character vector argument returns only named graphics parameter and it is a list. Then PAR column 4 and LTY equal to 2. With the named argument, set the value of named graphics parameter and returns the original values of the parameter as a list. Setting the graphics with par function changes the values of the parameters permanently. It affects the global values of par graphics parameters and you can restore the initial values by saving the result of PAR function. So you can use like this first par function. You can save and restore the function with all settable one graphical parameters use hold PAR equal to PAR number dot read only equal to true. And you can plotting commands using PAR hold bar. Temporary changes. Graphical parameters can also pass to the graphics function as named arguments. This has the same effect as that of PAR function except that the changes only last for the duration of the function call. Plot XY produces a scatter plot using 
plus sign because the character here mentioned is plus. So it will be plotting plus sign without changing the default plotting character for future. A good R help documentation is there for R function. You will get a concise summary. So a name equal to value parameter. Name is the name of the parameter. That is the argument name to call PAR graphical function. Value is the typical value you might use. Axis is, is not a graphics parameter but an argument to plot methods like x a x t y x a x t. Graphical elements made up of points, lines, text and polygons. Graphical parameters exist which control how these graphical elements are drawn. PCH equal to plus option. That is a character to be used for plotting points. PCH equal to 4. When PCH is given as an integer between 0 and 25, a specialized plotting symbol is used. LTY equal to 2 means line types lwd equal to 2 means line width col equal to 2 means colors used for points lines filled region and images col dot sub means col dot main col dot lab col dot axis this is a color used for axis annotation font equal to 2 specifies an integer value which specifies which font is to use for text. Then font.axis, font.lab, font.main, font.sub it is used for axis annotation. ADJ equal to minus 0.1. This is the justification of text relative to the plotting position. CEX equal to 1.5 means character expansion. Axis and tick marks. R allows con construction of axis with low graphics function axis. Axis has three main components axis line, tick marks and tick labels. The components can be customized using these parameters. Axis function can be customized using these parameters. Lab equal to C, 5, 7, 12. The first two numbers are the desired number for the tick intervals. And last equal to 1 means orientation of the axis label. MGP equal to C of 3, 1, 0. That means it is the position of axis component. TCK equal to point not 0.01 means length of the tick mark. X, A, X, S equal to R or Y, A, X, S equal to I means it is the axis style for X axis and a single plot in R is known as figure and it comprises a plot region surrounded by margins and it is bounded by axis themselves. So this one is an example for a figure and you can you can specify these margins. Okay, graphics parameters control figure layout include MAI which specifies the width of bottom, left, top and right margin respectively. MAR equal to C of 4, 2, 2, 1. It is similar to MAI except the measurement length is unit is text line. MAR and MAI are equivalent and the default values chosen for this parameter are often large. Right margin is rarely needed. Neither is the top margin. Bottom and left margin must be adjusted. The postscript driver with height 
equal to 4 argument will result in a plot which is about 50 percentage margin. So we can use multiple figures. In multiple figures, the use of margins are reduced. Multiple figure environment. R allows you to create an N by M array of figures on a single page. Each figure has its own margin and array of figures is optionally surrounded by an outer margin. This is an example. Here multiple figures are there. So the graphical parameters relating to the multiple figures are as follows. M of column. It size the, set the size of the multiple figure array. M of row, it is the, it specifies row, number of rows and M of columns specifies the number of columns. M of G equal to C of 2, 2, 3, 2. Position of the current figure in a multiple figure environment. This command figure equal to C this denote the position of the current figure on the page. Values are the position of these values left, right, bottom and top. And the percentage of the page measured from the bottom left corner that is 10. OMA and OMI, it specifies size of the outer margins. Outer margins are particularly useful for page wise titles. Text can be added to outer margin with M text. No outer margins are by default. Multiple figures can be produced by split dot screen and layout function. Actually, these are defined in package lattice. Device drivers are can generate graphics on most all type of display or printing device. R needs to be informed what type of device is used. The purpose of device driver is to convert graphical instruction from R into a form that is particular device can understood. Device driver are stated started by calling a device driver function. So if you have a postscript function you can issue this command. It causes all future graphics output to be sent to a printer in postscript format. Commonly used device drivers are X11, Windows and Cos. These are used in this one is used in Unix, Windows, Mac OS and for this Postscript is used for printing postscript printers. PDF produces PDF files. PNG produces PNG files. JPEG produces JPEG files. So when you finished with a device, you have to terminate the device driver by issuing deb.off. Postscript diagrams for typesetting documents. The file argument you passed to the postscript device driver function. So you may store the device graphics in postscript format in a file of your choice. If you want a lines, landscape orientation, you have to choose horizontal equal to false argument. So for example, the command postscript file then this one specifies horizontal to false means it is a landscape file. So height equal to 5 means the figure has 5 inches high and point size equal to 10. 